Ford Canada was recently in Regina to show off the latest features of the My Ford Touch system. Let's take a look and see what it can do. So My Ford Touch is a way to deal with those things that people want to bring with them. It, it allows you to operate your phone in a hands-free, uh, safe manner. Um, it also allows you to operate your MP3 player or your, your uh, iPod um, hands-free, all from voice. A couple of other things that we, uh, we've got here with My Ford Touch, and that is an 8-inch touch screen in the middle of the dash. Today's cars have so many different features that if we had buttons, traditional buttons on the dash for everything we would need to control, we would have buttons everywhere, which also is a driver distraction. The 8-inch touchscreen is a core part of the My Ford Touch system. This is where you can control four different aspects of your driving environment. First is entertainment, where you can choose between AM radio, FM radio, Sirius satellite radio, your MP3 player or iPod, or the included CD player. Next is climate control. This is the screen that lets you adjust the air level in your vehicles, adjust the direction of the air, turn the heating and air conditioning on, off, up or down, and even adjust your heated seats. After this is the navigation setting. Now this is very cool. A complete GPS navigation system is included as part of the My Ford Touch system so that you can get where you need to go quickly and easily. Finally is phone. By pairing a phone with the My Ford Touch system, you can make and receive calls and texts all using the 8-inch touchscreen. And best of all, all of these features are also available using voice and the touch button that's right in, on your steering wheel. So our, our solution to that problem is called My Ford Touch. And what it does is allows you to do all of this functionality through voice. Please say a command. FM. So we're listening to 92.7 FM, but if I wanted to change that FM station, one button on the steering wheel, my eyes on the road. Please say a command. FM 104.9. Tuning to FM 104.9. Kids sport with our, uh, so, friend Aaron let me just turn here, down right? the sound. As you see, we just changed the radio station. I didn't have to take my hands from the steering wheel. I didn't have to take my eyes from the road. I asked for that through voice. The system is so smart that it will understand over 10,000 voice commands. Please say a command. Navigation. Navigation, say a command. I'm hungry. And where would you like to search? Nearby, along your route, near your destination, or in a city? In a city. In Saskatchewan, say the city name. Regina. Say a line number. One. There's two Reginas, Regina and Regina Beach. So. Say a line number. Uh, five. When ready, press the voice button and then say, set as destination or... Set as destination. Setting new destination. So what it's just done is by hitting one button on the steering wheel and it prompting me of what to say. Um, while I've been driving, my eyes have been on the road, my hands are on the steering wheel. Um, it searched a whole bunch of restaurants and I chose one, I can't remember what it was, a pizza place or something. Um, but we could do that anywhere in the province of Saskatchewan or anywhere in the country or North America for that matter. Um, I can make calls, I can take calls, I can receive incoming texts into the car and it'll actually read you that text for this vehicle even parallel parks itself. I'd hit this button and it starts searching through these sensors um, for spots as we as we drive. When it sees a spot and it does an instant calculation whether this car can fit, it'll notify you on the screen that, hey, a spot has been found. Stop the vehicle. So I stop the vehicle. It says then put the vehicle in reverse. Remove your hands from the wheel. I still have to work the pedals. So the brake and the, the gas. 
remove my hands from the wheel and the vehicle will automatically park itself into that spot. It's absolutely amazing. And it's perfect every time. Watching the Ford Explorer actually parallel park itself was an absolutely incredible experience. While Mike Robbins still had to work the pedals, the gas and the brake, everything else was completely controlled by the park assist feature. This is something a driver like me could really appreciate. Ford Motor Company's goal is we want people to be able to drive their vehicles, listen to their music, talk on their phone, with your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. That's where you're safest. I was so impressed by the way that Ford used the latest technology to make my driving experience as safe as it could possibly be. And I have to admit, the fact that it made driving a whole lot more convenient really didn't hurt either.